guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for the Superior Spider-Man issue 27, that's issue 1 of Goblin Nation, because all new Marvel now has been doing that lately, uh, get, getting us confused with these big number ones when it's not actually <laughs> a number one. Uh, before I start talking about uh, Superior Spider-Man issue 27, just want to give you guys a little update. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode 35, which is on Comic Frontline, and if you haven't checked out Comic Frontline, if you aren't subscribed, go subscribe, that'll be annotated. Um, and here are those exclusive comics for Comic Uno episode 35, and that's the show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. Here are those exclusive comics. We got The Bunker, issue 1 from Oni Comics. Marvel Knights X-Men, issue 4. Wolverine the X-Men, issue 41. Smallville Alien, issue 3. Nightwing, issue 28. And then Forever Evil Rogue's Rebellion, issue 5. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno episode 35, which will be annotated. But let's talk about the Superior Spider-Man, issue 27, part 1 of Goblin Nation. So I was really pumped up for this one, because uh, this is a story arc which will have us return for Peter Parker. Totally excited for that. You guys know I'm a big Peter Parker fan, big Spider-Man fan, so looking forward to that. Uh, but love this cover. We've been seeing it. Goblin Nation has started. Goblins are everywhere. I uh, really like this cover. So let's see what's going on with the story, though. All right. In this issue, we get to see goblins are ruling New York City. We get to see on the Brooklyn Bridge, a uh, goblin face. So again, the goblins are running the town, and Superior feels defeated in a way. Uh, but and also we have a little story with Peter where he's trying to get his memories back, but actually is going more into Dr. Octopus's memories. So hopefully that doesn't mean that we'll get the real Peter, but he has, and he will be acting like Dr. Octopus. I wouldn't want to see that. Uh, we'll have to see. I know there's going to be some sort of spin with the Amazing Spider-Man. Um, so we get to see, uh, again, with regular Superior, he finds the Green Goblin. He's like, why wasn't I thinking that the Green Goblin could still be alive? And the Green Goblin knows that Peter is actually Dr. Octopus because of Carly's journal. And now they're going to explode uh, Spider Island. And that's what happens with this issue. Um, I thought this was a little bit of a slower issue, uh, and I'm not a big fan of Kaminicoli's art. Um, I do like Ramos's art. Ramos's art. Ra Ramos's art a little bit better for this series. Uh, I don't know. A lot of people are actually a little bit against him with uh, this series, but I, I think it fits the style of Spider-Man a little bit more. Uh, so I was a little off on the art here, uh, and I would say more on Peter's face than anything. I thought it was a little off. So uh, again, I do like Ramos's art a little bit more for uh, Spider-Man, even though it's a little more ab abstract. Uh, but story overall, I, I don't think a lot got progressed with this part one. It was okay okay setup, but there's a lot of setup we already got with Goblin Nation, so I want to see part one progress a little bit more. Um, so that's something I really wanted to see, and uh, there's actually something that happened in uh, Superior Team Up, uh, that his minions were evil and working against him, and that was never continued in S Superior Spider-Man, uh, because his minions are still working for him here, and I I'm a little confused by that, because they actually uh, mentioned, I think, Superior Team Up issue 10, and referenced it here for something else, so I was a little confused by that, and I want to see them explain that, hopefully in Superior Team Up, um, so that's also a little bit of a negative with this issue, uh, but there are some good parts here too. Uh, I really like just seeing Peter. Just seeing Peter is awesome. Seeing his memories were great. Uh, and then I really love the interaction Green Goblin had with Superior saying, oh, I knew you are Dr. Octopus. So I like that portion. But again, it's a it's a slow burn issue where I think it would have been okay if we haven't gotten so many preludes with Goblin Nation, but we already have. Uh, so I want to get a little bit more into this story and like get some more stuff progressing. So I'm going to give it a 3.5. I thought it was an okay issue. The art's a little off for me and the story I wish did continue a little bit more and give us a little progression. Um, so I'm going to give this a 3.5. Hope you guys enjoyed though. I still think it's worth a pick up, uh, especially just get part one of Goblin Nation because I know this is going to be an awesome story arc that I'm really looking forward to. And also I was just really pumped up for this so maybe it was just a little disappointing for me. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and their Iran situations and don't forget to like my Facebook page and I'll see you guys later. Bye.